Are they set to go? Could they play um, tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, Ricky's out in training. Douglas has a dislocated shoulder that they uh, put back into his place at the stadium. So he's going to have to hit a few days. So he's just got to lay low, and then he'll start some rehab stuff. So you know, we're looking probably 10 days, 10 days, two weeks for him to get to a position where he's comfortable enough and safe enough to play. So probably won't be available this weekend, but he will be uh, hopefully ready maybe the next one. Uh, sure, probably by LAFC. Yeah, could I get your thoughts after kind of looking over the film of the last game? Maybe some other things that stood out um, from that match? Yeah, again, I thought we started off the game from a possession standpoint in a really, in a really good spot. Like we, we were playing the ball quickly. It was simple, but but also very effective. It was hard for them to any, organize any kind of defending of us because the ball was moving clean. We were getting uh, in one space, out of that space, getting to the other side. I thought that, that was all nice. We were very, uh, we were disciplined with the ball. We weren't turning it over in areas that could hurt us. We were building into our attacks. Um, you know, we didn't finish a ton of attacks, which is where we can still continue to, to work on getting more vertical in certain situations. Um, but we did get the goal uh, to go up 1-0, which was a great goal off of uh, Tyler's run and Ra's ball. Um, and yeah, then I just, I just feel like we got into a stretch thereafter where we got a little bit complacent almost. Uh, keeping possession for us was almost maybe easy at the beginning and, and we started to try things, force balls into spaces, uh, not move properly for each other at the right speeds. Just a couple turnovers turned into a couple more turnovers. Then they mounted a little bit of sustained you know, pressure that led to a corner kick that we should have dealt with. But as I, you know, as I said, we, we took a, a little bit of a mental break on their corner kick and that can't happen. You know, a guy was getting water that needed to be out in a position to, to deal with things and uh, it's those little things that can, can bite you, right? And the second goal becomes a little bit off of maybe momentum of the first goal. We turn over a ball right in front of us that quickly ends up in front of our goal. We don't manage the, the protecting of our net. So they, you go from a game you're in total control of for the first 20, 25 minutes to down to one in the course of a minute and a half or two minutes. So we think, you know, we've got to certainly talk about that. We've got to be better than, than that in those situations, but also recognize how we got ourselves into the hole that we, the rut that we got ourselves into after such a good start. So uh, second half, I thought we came out and we did some good things. We adjusted some things and um, were able to get ourselves back on top. And by the end of it, we were, you know, we were seeing things out, you know, so, uh, and the guys did a good job of protecting themselves. You know, Espinosa specifically, anytime he has just a half a yard, he just smashes the ball across the face of the goal. He hits one off the crossbar. That's ridiculous. You know, he was trying to cross that. It's confirmed from him. It was not a shot. Uh, but he just he hits the ball with so much confidence and so hard that it creates so many problems. Um, so, but nevertheless, we saw the game out and uh, got a got a much needed and deserved three points on the night. Um, and please, you know, two games back, six points. And now we've got a short short turnaround and a, and a good team coming in and. Uh, you know, get his, get the group as turned around is uh, get everybody ready for this one. You take a different look without the um, Diego coming in form. How does how does Diego replace style? Yeah, I mean they're, they they in their probably most comfortable state. They play on opposite sides of each other. Uh, they have some similarities and and that they're probably a little bit more inverted wingers than, than straight up wingers, though Douglas will sit outside sometimes. Uh, so for us, there's some some adaptation that we have to consider to, to try to make sure we get the right guys into the right spots, the right types of players and profiles in the right spots. I don't think it's uh, it's not, it's nothing that we haven't dealt with over the course of the season or done or, or roles that guys haven't been uh, and aren't comfortable doing. So we, we'll be able to, to adapt that. You know, For me, mostly it's getting the guys who are going to start that played the other night turned around, getting the guys who are fresh out there ready to go, having a good good start with good energy. And, you know, these third games in the week, and especially in these latter summer months, a lot of come times come down to the last 30 minutes or so and uh, how you guys have guys come in and impact games and how the team can uh, can manage out the last bit and hopefully be on the front foot and get, get a goal even in those, those stages. So we want to get off to a good start. We want to uh, we want to be able to, uh, yeah, you know, dictate the game in our half, and I, I think it's important for us to be like we were at the beginning of the game, to be very responsible with the ball because this is a team that can get out quickly in transition uh, and has some players who can really hurt you 
Uh, and defensively, we, we have to stay connected. We can't be leaking out and getting separated without being together because they, again, they are positionally, uh, you know, well disciplined and, and they, you know, they sit in spots and if you, if you vacate your responsibilities, they can get you. So we gotta be, we just gotta have a good discipline match and I think we'll be all right. How's Tyler expecting this book? What did you expect when you, when you brought him in and lived up, exceeded those expectations? Or? Yeah, I think he's, uh, I think he's lived up. I think he's, uh, I don't really create an expectations in terms of goals and assists and things like that. I think that is, um, you know, a little bit of a product of guys settling in and, and just finding his form and everything. But I think he's gotten better as the season has progressed. I think he's, uh, he's learned some things about positional um, play and what he's trying to manipulate, but also the timing of the movements. Also getting familiar with the guys around him on when to make runs and when they're going to deliver. What he brings for us is just, it's, it's that relentless willingness to threaten the space behind the opposition, to keep moving, to, to, we have so many guys that like the ball at their feet and want to play a possession oriented, but you gotta have a balance of guys who wanna play like that and guys who are willing to run without the ball and play wide receiver, for example, for your, for your football fanatics, but guys who wanna play on the move and wanna look for the ball on the run and Ty gives us um, the best version of that and, and obviously um, has benefited from that. I mean, the first goal is really comes off of his running, right? He, he then turns it into a one-on-one -on -one against the center back as the center back is now isolated in open space, which center backs don't like, but really it comes off of his willingness to run behind uh, and, and use you know, his speed to get himself isolated out in that situation to make a difference. Um, and he continues, uh, he, he has a beautiful shot. We saw that from the beginning of preseason, both left foot, right foot, where he's curling it into the back post. It's really about getting yourself into those positions to to take those kinds of chances. So, but really, ultimately, it's his willingness to to run off of the ball that, that brings a different dimension to this this group of players. Yeah, I wanted to ask kind of similar as Damian, but more on the personal kind of coaching him, what's he like in the locker room, and kind of what does he add to the group on the more personal side rather than on the field? Uh, he's an eager learner. He's a hard worker, super competitive. Um, so he, you know, he, he wants to get better. He wants to help the team. He's a he's a great team guy. Uh, so I, I think you know, all the things you would want of a player in the in your locker room. Uh, eager, eager to sit down and look at plays and situations and uh, and understand kind of the adjustments or the the points that we may may want to give him. Out on the training field, he works out his heart out know, every day and we work after training on things. So. It's the kind of player you, you like to have in your team because he shows up every day to, to work and to get better and um, not just to himself, but try to help the team get better. Coming into a stretch where you're facing, I think, the first, second, and maybe third teams in the West, what are your, your approach and what are your thoughts on this upcoming stretch here um, against if the yeah. top half of the West? Here? Yeah, it's a, it's a real challenging stretch, but that's... Uh, you know, if that's what we, if we want to move up the table and, and we want to get into a playoff position and ultimately have a chance, these are the types of teams that you got to get results against. And uh, so, you know, over this last stretch of league games, we've been, uh, we've been very solid in many ways. And so now, um, you know, we get, to, we get to do that and test ourselves against those teams. But in order, again, where we are with the table and how many games are left, you, you got to play these teams and you got to get, you got to get something out of these games. So, but we know there's a challenge, I think, We've shown over the course of the season against LAFC, against Philadelphia, against others that we, we can play with anyone. We need to we need to remain disciplined and stick to the plan for uh, for the long haul inside of the game. Stay connected on the defensive side so we can help each other uh, and just be responsible with the ball and, and and choose our moments when we really need to be aggressive with the ball and vertical and, and, and we can create problems for anyone for sure. Um, so I, I look forward to it. I think this is. This is the time of year when it starts to hopefully cool off here a little bit where you know you're in those close to those final 10 games when the playoffs are around the corner that you got to find your best form. So these teams will require us to be at our best and they'll, they'll require us to have full concentration for 90 minutes. And I think I think that's when our team is at its, at its best, honestly. And also, I think the first four or five of the month, you don't have to board an airplane. So that's yeah. Well. Yeah, I mean, we saw that coming out of the uh, out of the break. We knew we were we weren't leaving California. Uh, even just going to San Jose isn't too far. A big trip. A lot of games locally, um, you know, which allows us to not put a lot of miles on our legs down the stretch. You know, hopefully keep guys as fresh as possible, be as consistent as we can. But again, we've added some quality 
uh, for sure in the summer window that allows us to be deeper, that gives us options off the bench so we can we can have an impact players who, who don't just start but come in. And so I think all of those connected will help us down the stretch just to, again, be at our best each of these games. Jalen Silva? Yeah, Jay uh, got a treatment a couple days ago, so we're letting that settle in. And over the next week, we'll see how he progresses. Um, we're hoping that the area calms down a little bit with the, the treatment that he got, and uh, hopefully we can reintegrate him over the next week. We'll, we'll see. It's a touchy thing because it's inflammation and things like that. So. One, one more. You don't expect surgery for Douglas at all? It's just so I don't. We don't expect anything surgery-wise in the short term. I don't know if you know. Yeah. <clears throat> when the shoulder drops out, there's a you know. You're, obviously, your labrum is compromised a bit, and so. I don't know if they'll be able to strengthen that enough. At time will tell if they can strengthen that enough for him to be, you know, safe, protected, not have constant issues. But if if he can, then he'll be good to go. And if he can't, then he will. I think it's too early to really know until we get he gets through some more rehab, recovery, all that kind of stuff.